In this video, we will talk about our second modern IT support training course in our modern IT support roadmap. So you're clicking on roadmaps and when you come over here, you'll click on continue journey again. And my assumption is that you have completed the first part one. And that's very important because if you're going to start the part two, it's important that you have some sort of knowledge before you start part two. So what is part two about? Part two is mainly about hardware, but it does have other information like networking and some core services that some of you will need uh, for interviews that are a little bit of more advanced. Sometimes when you go to the interview, people ask about what is DHCP, DNS or networking, or you might be doing some sort of troubleshooting with networking. This may not go in advanced type of networking, but still, if you are an IT support professional, you will come across issues where you will be seeing all of these core services. So sometimes what happens is that an IT professionals, when they're new, when they see something like this, a lot of uh, the time, the, the confidence level is very low because they have probably heard it somewhere, maybe seen it somewhere, maybe memorized it somewhere. So in this course, our goal is going to be covering DHCP, DNS, and IP addresses in a little bit of more lecture and hands-on way so then you have that knowledge. But again, you're not supposed to go beyond that or try to learn everything in advance because then of course you're going beyond your normal uh, roles, which is going to be uh, advanced roles in IT. So let's go ahead and click on it to start this course and let's talk about what is covered and how you need to finish this. So once you click on the course, it's going to take you to the course directly. You will click on start course. And this is where uh, you don't want to miss the first video, which is the current video, the important video. Um, now you can see the chapter one is about mobile devices. Now you're going to see different type of mobile devices, hardware related components, mobile device ports and accessories, mobile displays. And then you have this lab right here where it says mobile security solution. So if you have premium lab, then you will be able to open Android lab in this lab uh, directly. So let's go ahead and open that. So this is going to take you to the lab that you may have already done in part one. It says right here, CompTIA A+. If you have done this lab, that's great. You could you could probably redo it just to uh, re-learn things. But if you haven't done it, then I highly recommend after watching the lecture, now you have more knowledge, you should do this lab because in this lab, you will have access to this Android system right here and you will be playing around with the exercises that are given to you in this uh, specific exercise. Now you will notice a trend in this course. When you open different labs, it's going to show you different uh, labs in the practice lab. And that's for a reason. We have went inside the different type of labs and picked a module that is basically connected with your chapter. So this is the beauty of JSS that we now can go into the practice lab which has thousands of labs and we can pick a specific chapter or lab that is associated with a chapter. So for example, if you click on the networking, you're going to start learning about ports, protocols, uh, wireless protocols, then it, you will see these DNS, which is basically a very common interview question. People will ask you, what is DNS? So as an IT professional, the expectation uh, from an IT manager or someone who is going to be hiring you or testing you, they just want to know, do you know what DNS is? Usually they don't uh, expect you to configure or maintain a DNS server. So then why are we adding this lab from a different lab? The reason we are adding this lab right here is sometimes when people watch a chapter and if they do a lab that is well guided, it gives them that visual understanding of this chapter. So you're no longer confused after that. But again, you're not supposed to go beyond this. You're not trying to understand everything about DNS because then of course you're moving away from your skill set to more advanced. We have just added this lab to just give you that visual understanding of this chapter. So you will watch this chapter and then let's say for example, if you come to this lab and you click on it, you will launch the premium lab again. If you have premium membership, it will open up like this. And now you see it says network plus. So this is why we are saying that you shouldn't go deeper into these labs and try to go back and try to do all the labs because you will be jumping off your course then just stick to what we have given to you in this lab so when you click next here it will tell you exactly 
what machines are covered and then basically you see how uh, this is go this goes a lot in detail about you know installing and dns and all that kind of stuff now in the beginning when you do this lab if you're too new to it my recommendation is that don't get stuck in these lab if you can't do it that's fine we're not trying to check the you know everything that you have to do in these labs we're only making these labs available to you in this course so then you can give a better answer or if you come across something in your work where you have to understand how things are happening then you know about dns from a chapter point of view theoretical point of view and from a practical point of view same with dhcp then there's a lab then when you talk about ip addresses you probably have learned a little bit of basics and now when you learn about this ba uh, basics over here and then you have this practice that you can do with the ip addresses and then after that you have network types and then there's a lab for network services and protocols which you're going to learn a lot about different type of protocols in a hands-on way so this chapter is super important if you are trying to uh, get into a little bit more deeper into IT then that that chapter is really going to help you but again this course the second course is going to be heavily uh, focusing on uh, the hardware as you can see it's three hours worth of hardware now why is hardware important for IT professionals even if you're doing a remote job remember remote job does not mean that you're not going to know about hardware what if somebody's having an issue with a printer what if somebody's saying my my system is having some sort of issue so ha having a knowledge about hardware it's still going to be valid because if you're calling somebody and you're guiding them even on the phone you still need to know about hardware to guide them so this these type of lectures are really going to help you when it gets to virtualization and cloud which are which are new technologies uh, not a lot of it professionals are going to be really working directly inside virtualizations and cloud but you know things are changing and people want to move up so this is going to give you a pretty good uh, theoretical and practical idea of what these virtualization are about these days and cloud which is a very uh, common uh, skill set for systems administrator or it administrators and if you go further in our roadmaps uh, after six months of working in your job then you will realize that you are going to need to know about these in a very uh, deeper way and that's what we have done uh, roadmaps uh, more advanced roadmaps for this type of skills then you will come across uh, troubleshooting which is very important again you're going to go through all these videos troubleshootings and all that kind of stuff then we have this additional uh, content right here where basically this content is added uh, so you can enhance even more about the hardware so if you click on this then there's some demos right here now these are not labs these are actual demos that a professional is performing on the systems and, and breaking things down and making things and all that kind of stuff and I feel like these videos are very powerful if you finish this whole course I don't think you will have any issues with the hardware side of or core network services or anything like that so go ahead and finish this course this is very important course after part one because your resume is going to only get stronger your confidence is going to go is going to get only stronger when you know the core services like what is dscp dns ip addresses uh, different type of protocols you will be able to give better answers in your interview and also perform well on your job and move up very quickly if you have done the part two correctly and fully please do not skip any videos in our platform i know it takes time I know it, it does require a little bit of training with your mind and patience. You just have to do that if you want to learn skills and want to become a proper IT professionals. There's no shortcut in this. You just have to make sure you watch everything fully. And then if you can practice, research. If there's no lab available, then go ahead and do online research, do documentations. And that's how you're going to become a proper IT professional. Thank you.